Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. As the school year comes to a close, a lot of parents are celebrating as their student graduates from high school. Ah, uh, but for many, the next step is college and how to pay for higher education. Joining us now is Tracy McGetrick from Bayport Credit Union to discuss some of the options Bayport offers to help with college expenses. Okay, first of all, congratulations to everybody who just graduated their student from high school. Ah, uh, but the shock of paying for college is right here. It is, it is, it's right here. Families are receiving their award packages and they're um, finding out what their unmet need is. So that's the gap between the cost of education, the cost of attendance, and what they've been awarded in financial aid. And so they get this number and then they have to finance that number. They have to come up with additional financing to meet that cost. How do you, how do you get that uh, award letter and find out what that gap is? There were a lot of stats with the process called the FAFSA. Mm -hmm. So every family filled out a FAFSA starting in January 1st. It's a free application for federal student aid. They fill that out. It's coupled with the application that's sent to the college. Mm -hmm. And then a college awards financial aid, and they generate these award letters. So Is that a shock when you get the gap and, and the unmet need? I mean, is that a shock to most people? It is. It is. You see, the average... Um, Public four-year education is mm -hmm. about ten thousand dollars, like you said. The average private is about forty, so the average aid is about five thousand, or uh, you know, in free money in scholarships and grants. The average federal loan is about five thousand. So families are coming up with a gap of somewhere between ten and thirty thousand that they have to come up and finance. Some uh, other way. And we always say to, to plan ahead, but most people don't plan for that big a number. They Once don't. you do they get don't. that number, then how do you meet the financial need? There are several ways. Um, the financing options after that are, first, I always advise families to get monthly payment plans on campus. Mm -hmm. So most colleges and universities offer a monthly payment plan. Um, so for a small fee, they can budget money over time. Um, and then they have the option of financing through loans. And there's the PLUS loan, which is the parent loan for undergraduate students. It's under the federal umbrella. Um, and then there's private financing options, such as the Bayport private uh, line of credit. Okay, but the education keeps going up and up and up. How do you keep that number to go down? What can you do? I mean, do you have to take out a second job? No, nope, no. Nope. You really want to. You want to exhaust all your free money and all your loan money first. Mm -hmm. Those are the low cost, low interest. So you have free, and then you have cheap, which is low cost, low interest. So you want to exhaust those. Then, like I said, look at the monthly payment plan option because if you can budget something on a monthly basis, you're not charged interest on that money. You're paying over a monthly time. You're not, you're not borrowing that money and then being charged interest on it. Um, then you want to look at financing, you want to look at the PLUS loan, and you want to look at private loans. When you're looking at private loans, you want to understand how they're priced, so you understand the index and the margin. You want to understand what the repayment terms are, so how many years you have to pay that back. And you want to understand if they offer, what kind of uh, payment terms they offer while you have the loan. So can you defer payments while you're in school? Do you have to stop making payments right away? So you want to understand how that loan is priced and what your options are. I know a lot of parents were in shock, and this is a very complicated matter. And you, I know you have more questions about it. And if you have any questions, start with Bayport Credit Union on how to finance college. Stop by any of the 14 Bayport Credit Union's locations across Hampton Roads, or log on to BaytportCUStudentChoice.org. Tracy, this is a, a complicated matter for many people and pretty scary thought. So thanks it for uh, some insight. You're welcome. Thank you, Chris.